Hello there, my lovely friends. Thank you so much for joining me today for this 15 minute express Pilates workout. These are my favorite. We're combining my two loves, both Pilates and ballet together. And even though this is 15 minutes, trust me, you are going to be sweating and your heart rate will really, really get up during this workout because we are doing 18 exercises for 50 seconds each but with no rests in between. That's right. So we're just gonna go straight down the line, one exercise after the next, and just keep it moving. When you're ready, grab your mat and let's get started. Let's begin by sitting up nice and tall. Legs and feet are about hip width apart. And we're just going to take our half roll back. So your right arm is going to sweep down and reach and then down to sit up tall. Down and reach with the left and sweep the arm to sit up tall. So I would exhale on the roll back, inhale on the roll up, okay? Let's get our timer going again. Go fast as you can. Form is the most important thing and we're just gonna keep it going. So the goal is to just not stop. Keep moving with me. Here we go, 50 seconds and start it up. Really scooping the belly and tucking the tail. And we're really twisting from the waist. So firing up that core right away. Good, 30 seconds left. Good, 20 seconds. After this one, we'll do another half roll back exercise and figure eight the arms. 10 seconds left. Good work, everybody. Stay in your half roll back, squeeze the legs, and the arms sweep down and up. Now, if you need to modify this, you can always just put your feet down on the floor. However, if you're feeling good and strong, challenge yourself, feet come up. Either way, we're squeezing the knees and the thighs together. So this is not just a core oblique specific exercise. You should also feel, feel a nice inner thigh burn at the same time. Woo! 12 seconds. Okay, up next we have a butterfly exercise to stretch out the inner thighs. And balls of the feet go on the floor, hands are on the floor as well, shoulders down. Stretch your left leg out to the side. Right leg, or right and left. I don't know my right from my left anymore. <laughs> and lift up, oh, and gently lower down and extend and bend, extend and bend. Push the floor away, hips are level, squeeze those glutes. Drop the head back if that feels good for you. Gently lower the pelvis down. Good, we're at 16 seconds, breathe. Long neck. And we have a roll up exercise next. Good work, everybody. Scoot yourself forward, and the legs are turned out in a ballet susu position. You're going to roll all the way down, roll all the way up, and then change your legs, crossing the other leg on the top. So it's just the same as our traditional roll up, but the legs are in that beautiful ballet Susu fifth position. Woo, 15 seconds. Stay strong, everybody. Attitude scissors are next. 
Good work, okay. From here, hands go behind the head and we're slicing the legs. Legs are bent, externally rotated. Feet are pointed. Good, breathe deep, elbows wide and keep pressing your lower back into the mat. There shouldn't be any space here. Good. Keep going, friends, 15 seconds. And then we have a diamond leg straddle combo. Woo! Really feeling the burn already? Good. From here, hands go under your bottom. Cross one ankle on top of the next. We are doing a double leg drop in that diamond position. Flex the feet to straddle and then point the feet to go back to your starting position with the opposite ankle on the top. So we're always alternating which ankle is on the top. Again, legs are externally rotated for this whole exercise. If you're getting tired, you can put your head down. Otherwise, try to stay up nice and high in that crunch, 10 seconds. And from here, we'll go right into our scissors. So keep the legs turned out, stretch them as long as you can, and we're just slicing the legs. Woo, core is on fire. Keep breathing, think happy thoughts, everybody. You can do it. Good. 22 seconds. Longest legs, really lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Lower back pressing into the mat. Shoulders away from the ears, 10 seconds left. And then we're going to go onto the forearms for some ballet beats. Okay, onto the forearms. We are beating the legs anywhere between four and eight times. And then hands go out to the side so you can push the floor away. And again, beat four to eight times here. And then we go back down to the forearms, okay? So just alternating between this low level and this higher level. Woo! Good. Legs are long, externally rotated. You can flex the feet. If your feet or calves are cramping up, that's okay. Or you can just kind of relax your feet in a neutral position. Good. 10 seconds. Keep going, stay strong. And we have a teaser combo coming up. Okay, sit up, legs and arms are crossed. Change four times, one, two, three, four. Reverse tabletop, four tricep dips. One, two, three, four. Ooh, and repeat. Crossing four times. And four dips, hips are level here. 20 seconds. We're going to flip over after this exercise. Good work, everybody. Flip it on over onto your forearms. Just working the right leg. Lift up to your arabesque. We pulse. One, two and then lower down and lift lift and lower so that right leg once again is externally rotated and just really find your longest length in your right leg really squeezing the glute at the top of the lift squeeze squeeze and down beautiful 15 seconds and then we're going to go right to the left side 10 seconds left, squeeze, squeeze.
good work. Bring that right knee in, lengthen your left leg out, turn it out. Tell me muscles working, here we go. Squeeze, squeeze, and lower. Pulse, pulse. Good, breathing deep. Nice, squeeze the buns. And squeeze, squeeze. Twenty seconds. Stay strong, everybody. Up next, we're going to do a downward facing dog exercise on our toes. If you don't want to do it on your toes, you could just do it the regular way on flat feet. Okay, so onto the hands. If you can, keep your feet pointed. You're going to lift up into your downward facing dog on your toes. The right leg is the only leg we're gonna work right now. Palm she, lower down, and then gently lower your knees down, okay? So we're only going to palm she the right leg. Keep going, everybody. And again, if you don't like the toe thing, just tuck your toes under in your traditional downward facing dog. This is just a little balletic twist on our downward dog and three-legged dog pose. Ooh, good work, everybody. Let's go right to the second side. So now just the left leg moves. Lengthen your left leg up, lower down, and gently lower the knees. Keep going, friends. Breathing deep. Finding your longest length in both legs. 22 seconds. And up next, we're going to lay on our side. Nice little side series. Almost there. Woo, killer. All right, come down on your side, everybody. Let's take our top leg in our ballet passe. We are going to lift up, extend, bend, and lower. Lift, lengthen, bend, and lower. So we're really using that inner thigh on that bottom leg. And lengthen, lengthen. Good. Woo! Keep going, everybody. We're more than halfway there. Stick with me. After this, we'll swing the legs around and do the same thing on the second side. Good work. Okay, swing it around, quickly, quickly. And here we go, second side. Lift, extend, bend, and lower. Nice work, everybody. Flip it on over, high plank. From here, right leg moves only. Passe, and then split. Just the right leg moves. Ballet passe, and then plank split. Beautiful, 20 seconds. And of course, we'll do the same thing on the second side. Woo! Mm. 
Nice job, everybody. All right, keep it moving. High plank, here we go. Just the left leg moves now. Passe and split. Make sure your booty's down. No cheating. Tummy muscles should really be engaged. Mine are on fire at the moment, but we're gonna keep going. We're almost there. 20 seconds. Woo! Ten seconds. Finish strong. Don't give up. Good. Stay in your high plank. Bend the knees. Woo! Jump to a squat. Externally rotate. From here, jump. Up, up. Back to your squat. Boom. And high plank. Oh, do it again. Rotate. Ballet second. Jump. Turn it in. And hands down. Jump back. This is the last one, everybody. Finish strong. Let's just hang out in our child's pose. Woo! Breathe deep, friends. Good, and slowly roll up through the spine. Circle the head around. Take out any tension in the neck. And you all did such a fabulous job. I'm whew, really huffing and puffing over here. Who says you can't get a great full body workout in in just 15 minutes? I don't, of course you can. I hope you enjoyed that one. I'll see you very, very soon in the next one. Mwah! Bye friends.